Everybody says I'm monogamous in all my relationships. The norms are changing so fast. There is nothing you can do when you leave a person than to tell them so sorry that you're hurting them. You have loved them deeply and you wish them the best and you thank them for everything they've given you and yet you're going to go. And it is just raw pain. You can't circumvent that. Heartbreak is heartbreak. So what's good, homies? It's your man, Dr. B.O.A. You know, we talk a lot about modern marriage and how it compares to traditional marriage. And when we are honest about it, we come to the realization that the modern marriage that is being perpetuated as a remnant or a replication of the old school marriage, the traditional marriage, doesn't work. Now, Men keep always perpetuating that you have to make these women honest. You got to marry these women. You got to keep on marrying them, man. That's what's wrong. The, pro the problem isn't that men aren't marrying women. The problem is, is that women don't want to be wives. And I'm not saying that they don't want to do that because they're trying to be mean to men. There are just more benefits to a woman being single than there are to a woman being married in this day and age. Now, when I say this, men always say, well, you just you destroying relationships. You're trying to destroy relationships. relationship. Destroy what relationships? Relationship have been destroyed way before I came along. The bottom line is women of today don't see the benefit of being married like their grandmothers and great grandmothers did. And just to be honest with you, those benefits aren't there for either men or women. In most situations Convent that heartbreak is heartbreak i don't yeah. buy the idea that there is a one and only we used to marry till death do us part today we marry till love dies we used to marry and have sex for the first time today you marry and you stop having sex with others you used to have monogamy one person for life and today monogamy is one person at a time and everybody says i'm monogamous in all my relationships the norms are changing so fast there is nothing you can do when you leave a person than to tell them so sorry that you're hurting them. You have loved them deeply and you wish them the best and you thank them for everything they've given you and yet you're going to go. And it is just raw pain. You can't circumvent that. Heartbreak is hard. There's a woman who gave the greatest breakdown from a female perspective of what marriage is, but it's not just from a female perspective. It actually defines what the modern relationship has been reduced to. No one goes into it with the expectation of honoring those vows. It's just, okay, we're going to try this out. If it doesn't work, we're going to go get a divorce. Divorce is not a last resort anymore. Divorce is the first option in most of these situations. That's why the law demands in some places that you go and have marriage counseling before they'll even grant you a divorce. Because they have to, because if not, people won't even try. So I ask you, man, what's the purpose in doing that? Anytime that you have been with one person in a relationship, in a so-called relationship and talking to someone else or preparing to leave them or having a male friend or having a, any of those things are the same thing as being non-monogamous. The reality of the scenario is this. Marriage only works if a man is to provide and protect it and a woman is at home being submissive, taking care of family. That's what the traditional structure of marriage was, especially in this particular society. But women don't want to do that anymore. Let's take a look. This is probably reason number 500,000 of why I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that. I don't want to do anything for you. I don't want to cook for you. I don't want to clean for you. I don't want to be your secretary and set your appointments and chase you around and make you go because of your health. I don't want to pick up your socks for you. I don't want to be one of those people who comes on TikToks and makes funny videos about how you can't do anything for yourself and men do the darndest things and everybody's in the comments like, yeah, my husband does that too. My boyfriend does that too. Fuck that. I want to be with somebody who is an adult, a fully functioning adult. 
it's been proven time and time again that men are the ones who benefit from marriage and relationships because we get in them and we do everything and they just get to sit back and receive everything from us. And then as a treat, as a treat, they might do something for our birthday or for Mother's Day. I just, men get to exist in relationships and just receive. Why can't we exist together? And if we do nice things for each other, it's just organic. It just happens. But it's not the expectation. It's not something I have to do because I'm the woman. When I come home after a long day, I don't want to cook either. I don't want to do shit either. Why can't we flip a coin to see who cooks or if we order or we order food and then whoever cooks, the other person cleans. Why can't you pick up after yourself? Why can't you set your own appointments? Why do I have to be your secretary? I'm not working for you. I'm not working for you. I am. I have gotten so lazy. I'm not doing anything. And then there are men who will say, well, then what are you good for? What's the reason why someone should be with you? Ah, ah, you're proving my point. You just want to be with somebody to do everything for you. I just, I want to be with a fully functioning adult male who we can come together and exist together, do fun stuff together. We take turns, we pull our own weight. And that seems to be unreasonable. <laughs> That, that's un asking someone to be an adult is unreasonable. I don't even want a cat. I don't even want a pet. I have a plant. I'll be a plant lady. I will be happy. I will not take care of a grown person. I won't. No relationship matters except marriage. If that isn't your wife and this isn't your husband, your relationship is trash. And I'm not talking about legal marriage. I'm talking about if you two don't see one another in that light and plan to live that way, plan to be that way, then y'all just traipsing around indulging in some harlotry. You understand? That has nothing to do with being in a true and honest relationship. And the problem is most people in this society don't want to accept that that level of engagement is gone. It's dead, man. There was a time when marriage was the first time two people were intimate. Now, in marriage, people stop being intimate. People have been intimate so long before that that people just stop being intimate. And the real problem is that people don't understand the significance of physical intimacy as a not even a precursor to a marriage or not even a benefit of marriage, but as the thing that consecrates marriage. The problem in this society is that people make vows that say to death do us part and People just stay in it until love dies. What I've heard, man, is that people fall in and out of love several times over the course of a long term marriage because love is a fleeting feeling. It's a fleeting emotional state. Everything has to be perfect for love to work. Any little mix up or any little hiccup in life, man loses his job. He can't love his woman no more. He too, he too stressed out about his job. You understand what I'm saying? Woman going through a tough pregnancy, man, she can't love her husband no more, man. She's too busy trying to battle through a tough pregnancy when every day she regretting that she even got pregnant. And then you get in situations where people don't want to be into the routine of marriage. And the problem is it is a routine, just like everything else. People get up every day at the same time, have the same routine, get up and get to work at the same time, go to lunch at the same time, take breaks at the same time, get off at the same time, go pick up their kids at the same time, get home at the same time, cook dinner at the same time, go to bed at the same time. But when it comes to that relationship, people are all routined out. So people don't have that to dedicate to it. Now, see, the reality of the situation is that we're in an environment where you have to think about the end result. When we talk about these divorce statistics, yeah, guys try to deny that they exist, but yeah, you should deny that they exist if you just got married. 
You know what I'm saying? If you just got married or you're about to legally marry a woman, man, yeah, you probably need to be on the side of the fence that says those divorce statistics aren't real because you can't accept those divorce statistics as real and then still think it's a logical decision to go get married. So if you're a man that's going to legally marry a woman right now, you have to look at those divorce statistics and figure out a way to convince yourself that they're not real. They're not authentic. Otherwise, you're a fool to go do something that has such a high failure rate. See, here's the real problem with this. After all the investment of time, effort, and energy is thrown away with only an I wish you the best and the internationally accepted lie, I will always love you, that's all you get. When it all boils down, all you're guaranteed is the experience of being married, but not the experience of staying married. And it's not just in America, all over the globe now. Are these cultures that we have, you know, always said, hey, man, you go get you a woman from here? No. Nope. This Americanized mindset is transcending all demographics now. You don't believe me? Take a listen to this. Marriage does not complete a woman. <laughs> Repetition. You've had it over and over and over. Are you married? Uh, do, you, do you even talk? I'm not married. Shut up. It is not marriage that completes a woman. If you are an incomplete woman, you will meet and marry an incomplete man and you will have an incomplete marriage. Don't let society define how you feel about yourself. That you are not married does not make you inferior. That you are married does not make you superior to anyone that is not married. It's a calling. And stop oppressing me with your marriage. Now tell me I'm lying. Tell me that what I'm saying ain't true. Y'all know it is. What y'all got to remember is this. Marriage used to be based on a necessity. Now, modern women don't deem it necessary anymore. The majority of the times when a woman want to get married, man, she want to do it because it's traditionally accepted in her family. She's doing it for the approval of her family, man. Now, if her parents are married, yes, there's a chance she may truly believe in it. But when the last time you met a woman man whose parents were still married? I'm not talking about her one of married to a new wife or a new husband. I'm talking about her parents, her father and mother still together. It's rare. It's rare. If they're still alive, of course. But it's rare. See, here's the thing. Love is a fleeting feeling. And the problem with it is it only lasts forever when a man falls in love with a woman. The way you fall in love with a woman, she'll never fall in love with you like that in return. A woman loves the way your love makes her feel. She doesn't love you, but she loves the way your love makes her feel. That's why she can move on so quickly. If anything changes, it's not that she doesn't care for you the way she did before. It's that your love doesn't make her feel the way it made her feel before. And where does that leave you? In a situation where you're just going to be experiencing what this woman said, heartbreak, pain. I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. Heartbreak is heartbreak, homies. Once it hits you, you never recover. Now, you can not be controlled by it and not have it dominate your life anymore. But what you lose emotionally, spiritually, mentally as a man from heartbreak, from falling in love with the wrong woman. You never get that back, man. You never get that back. And every time you do it, you lose a little piece of yourself. Because as a man, when we fall in love with a woman, we give her everything. We give her the sun, the rain, the moon, the stars, and the mountains. We give her the world. We give her everything. And what do we expect in return? Nothing but her appreciation of that. And like we just saw in this video, modern women don't appreciate it. In their minds, it's nothing for them to appreciate. And I say, let them have it. Now, am I saying this is a fail-safe, foolproof way? No, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that if you find a woman who is about that life and wants that and is dedicated to that, then fine. You may want to take a chance, but you better look at her familiar history. And make sure that she's seen that in her life before. 
Because if she haven't, she just wanted for the fantasy of it. You know, the wedding day. She wants to be queen of the world for a day. She wants to hear the song, she's your queen to be. That's what she wants to hear. And after that, she wants to go back to living her single life. Plenty of you men have a wife who's still living her single life. Why? Because you didn't have the wherewithal or either the obedience, discernment to realize that she never wanted to be a wife in the first place. She wanted to be a bride. Like this video on your way out if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. When you subscribe, click that notification bell. Make sure your notifications are on so you can be alerted when I upload some more of this real shit. And as always, Alpha Sub, beta down. Peace. Alpha Sub, beta down, it's the motto. Sims claiming that they pimps, but they not though. Alpha Sub, beta down, it's the motto. Suckers claiming to be players, but they not though. Alpha Sub, beta down, it's the motto. Tricks acting like they max, but they not though. Alpha Sub, beta down, it's the motto. Betas claiming to be alpha, but they not though. Now, I'm not gonna tell you, man, that you shouldn't value your woman at all. A woman does have value, but you can't overvalue her and convince yourself that she brings more value to your life than you bring to hers.